You send the invoice from your QuickBooks system. And now what you want to happen is find out when that invoice has been paid from your monday.com system. So you don't want your team to go over to QuickBooks and start rooting around, see if an invoice has been paid. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect QuickBooks to monday.com so you can see when invoices have been paid. Now, this is actually based on a previous video that I've done. So if you're not familiar with it, check out the link below. This is how to automatically raise invoices from Monday to QuickBooks. Very, very good video. Um, and then the, this is the second half essentially, but this might be helpful nonetheless. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help automating, integrating, streamlining your business, check out the link below. We would love to help. Now, as you can see here, I'm inside of a demo monday.com system. I'm on the quotes board. Now for context from the previous video, when the status of the uh, quote is changed to accepted, it's going automatically raise an invoice in my QuickBooks system based on the quote value exclusive VAT or sales tax if you're based in the US and then also the email address and the uh, the name of the contact person so that's the only key data points that we're going to be pulling over to QuickBooks I'm just going to run you through it specific column value changes filter conditions based on the status of the quote and then find customer create invoice send invoice and then add the ID of that invoice to our monday.com system which is here invoice ID and the invoice status now what I want to do as a second part of this long-winded tutorial is when the invoice status or when the invoice or the payment is reconciled in QBO associated with that particular invoice, the invoice ID being 4966, then I want to automatically find the quote associated with that particular invoice and then change the status to paid. So I'm going to walk you through how to go ahead and set that up. So we need Zapier. As you can see, this is the previous uh, video. If you're not familiar with Zapier, check out the link below. It's a fantastic tool, the Swiss army knife of businesses. Um, and what we need to do is go ahead and create a new Zap. So go to create in the top right hand corner, go new Zap. Um, and then the trigger is going to be uh, QuickBooks. So we need the trigger to be QuickBooks, QuickBooks when a new payment is made. So if you haven't connected your QuickBooks account, go ahead and do so. Just follow the instructions on the right hand side here. Trigger event is when new bill payment, I suspect, is going to be the one. New invoice, new invoice due, new invoice paid. This is the one that we want when new invoice paid. OK, so go ahead and hit continue and then we need to test the trigger. So we need to pull over some data. So as you can see, we've got a few different invoices that have recently been paid, which is somewhat of a miracle. <laughs> Once the invoice is paid, we then need to go ahead and add the next step of the process, which is actually to find the quote inside of Monday.com. So the next step is Monday.com. It's going to be get item by column value. Uh, that's the action event. If you haven't got your account connected, just walk through the video explaining how to connect your account linked above. Um, it's very, very simple. It's like a two minute video and then you can come back to this video. Um, and then we go ahead and hit continue. Um, configure, we're obviously going to want to find the quote based on the quotes board. So we just choose the quotes board ID there. And the column searching is the invoice ID. Now, if you're not familiar with any of this, I strongly urge you to go and watch the previous video, which is linked below about how to create invoices from monday.com to QBO. So the invoice ID is going to be the invoice ID associated with the QuickBooks account. So what I'm going to do is press the plus button on the far right hand side. And you can see we've got all of the data points pulled from the new invoice here. Now, I'm going to have to blur this information because this actually is customer sensitive information, but I'm looking for the ID. It's a four digit ID associated with the invoice. In this instance, it's 4965. OK, we don't need columns to receive. And should this step be considered uh, a success if no search results are found, you can say no or yes. And yes, being that it will continue through the flow. If no, it will just halt the, uh, the process. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. So it's essentially going to look for where the invoice ID on the quotes board matches with the invoice ID from the new invoice that's been paid. Go ahead and hit continue, press test step, and miraculously, this is going to then find the information because the ID matches. So you can see here 4965, and then the invoice ID was also 4965. So data in was. 4965 as you can see so that's worked amazingly so we've got the item by the column value and then all we need to do is the final step of the process in monday.com is change the column value change specific column value by item id so it's change multiple column values then it's going to ask you which board so again it's going to be the quotes what's the item id so that's the item id from what we've just got so three dotted bus on the right hand side go to custom and then get item id and then just use that item id there then we can scroll down and we are looking for the invoice status now we can previously the invoice status as you can see here is sent now we can now change this this is the only thing we really need to do to paid and go ahead and hit continue i'm going to test this step and what's going to happen is this in a moment's time is going to change to paid as you can see now we can then use that as our trigger point for the next thing so i've already got an automation in place that says when invoice status is equal to paid change status of the um 
change status of the actual stage of the quote to paid automatically and that will be managed inside of our monday.com system so that's how to do it new invoices paid get item by column value and then change multiple column values um, and then we can continue with the next step of the process typically that would then be the onboarding of the client um, and we would have a ton of automations and integrations to trigger new folders created new slack channel created um new template created in monday.com perhaps all sorts of different things calendly automatically sent welcome email automatically sent welcome gift box automatically sent you know we've done some weird things um, or interesting requirements for different clients in the past now before we hit publish and make this live we just need to change the uh, zap name so in qbo invoice paid and then find quote and then it's going to be uh, update quote and that's literally the process there and then and then we just need to hit the publish button and we're good to go so now every time a new invoice is paid and if the invoice id exists inside of monday.com it's going to get the item or the quote then it's going to change multiple column values to say that this invoice has now been paid and it can go on to the next step of the process so you can now see that if you were a sales representative or something along those lines um you'll be able to manage your entire process from monday.com i no longer need to go into quickbooks um and i recommend watching the other video on how to automatically raise invoices from monday.com to qbo um but this is this is great stuff people love this sort of integration work if you'd like us to automate integrate streamline your business with stuff like this uh, maybe you've got ideas of your own check out the link below we would to help thank you for watching goodbye